All right, here's a quick review of this 2000 watt eliminator inverter. I've done a couple, but this one I'm going to show uh, an oscilloscope on it as I put the loads on. I got the Jeep running now, and I have my little lawnmower generator I made because I've already, I just did this test a little bit, and I brought the batteries quite low. So uh, I'm trying to quick charge it, and this time I'm going to leave the Jeep running. Last time the Jeep wasn't running. So the Jeep probably can put it about uh, maybe 100 amps apparent when it needs to. And the lawnmower generator at idle only puts out about 22 amps. So right now, they're topping up my battery at 13.3 volts. Usually that's closer to 14 volts, so they are quite low. And uh, I'm going to go with this test. I got 1500 watt heater. This is minimum 1500 watts. This is an old one. This one actually will pull uh, about 1700 off a good power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and put, plug that in. And on this, I have an air conditioner that was just running. It might actually uh, stop the inverter from running because uh, it might have still some pressure in the system. So, And I have two 500 watt halogen light bulbs. So that's going to be about 2,500 watts of, uh, of uh, heater and halogen light bulbs and then on top of that is uh, is the air conditioner that's going to be turned on. So we're up to 630 watts. This thing warms up slowly, goes into a max mode and then starts really taking the power. So I'll wait for that to happen. In the meantime, here's our oscilloscope reading. So. The more uh, watts you put on this, the longer the top of this uh, waveform gets, and the shorter this uh, in-between stage, like the, I guess that's zero volts, there you go, it just got shorter. The heater just kicked up a notch, now it's pulling 1.2, oh no, that's uh, volts, it's pulling uh, about a thousand watts, it's, it's get taken less as it cools down but it's not even on its high setting yet. Anyways, so you can see on here, that's gotten longer and that's gotten shorter. So it's turning a little closer to a square wave. And let's see if it will start the uh, air conditioner and those two 500 watt halogen lights. And this is the oscilloscope when I plug it in right now. Oh, it cut totally out for a bit, which it does sometimes. And then it tried again to start it up, and it started it up, no problem that time. We are down to 11.45-ish volts, 2,070 watts I'm pulling from this thing. And this is your oscilloscope on the sine wave. It is still a modified, but just barely. Um, it's close to a square wave now. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure if you keep the input voltage closer to 12 and a half volts, which is extremely hard to do at this, at this high of uh, wattage, that it would be a better modified sine wave. But uh, it gets closer to a square wave. Nothing wrong with this inverter, it'll run power tools and stuff, no problem. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. I've run lots of stuff on this thing. So, okay, that's it.